this out your group. Today I'll be testing this wireless uh, uh, CTR my rod. CTR stands for a classic uh, glass rod. It's a it's, uh, it's, uh, fiberglass rod and uh, five weight, seven foot long. And uh, I'm using a warm water line with it. Uh, the Cabela's branded warm water line. Two five weight. So, and the uh, reel is a scientific angular system one. So let's see how this thing works out. So I'll be uh, doing some casting over here. Um, let's see how this rod feels like. It uh, already feels a lot lighter uh, than my uh, Eagle Claw. I don't know if uh, it's the material or something else, but um, the fly looks awesome in the water though. Just be doing a few casts over here, and then uh, I'll move on to the spot. Do some over-the-shoulder uh, casts. Nice. It handles the line pretty well. It's definitely on the uh, lighter side. This rod. That's pretty okay. Yeah, I can make the pass like uh, effortlessly. This is uh, this is actually the first time uh, I use this rod. I never used this rod before. Just uh, sitting uh, at home. This uh, I bought this rod just for a trip to Taiwan last year, but uh, that never happened. So uh, this rod has been uh, sitting on the uh, shelf since. By the way, uh, the fly I'm using is a uh, uh, size 4, so it might be a little too big uh, for this rod, but uh, I'll switch onto something uh, smaller later. And our first fish, crappie, pretty cool. I've been looking for this guy for a while, but this is a nice one. It's like a 11 incher, 10, 10 11 incher, something like that. Very cool. It's a fly. Give it another shot. Let's see if we can have the uh, species slam today. Another one. They're big. I want to keep a toothbrush with you so can uh, pull, out, pull, pull out the uh, feather. Get more. They're right in the brushes, so this short pass should be doing, doing okay. I sink down. Pickerel. See if we can have more.
toaster. It's a nice one. It's a really, really nice one. I'm making a change now. Uh, I'll be using this fly now. I just uh, uh, lost uh, one of my uh, bait fish patterns, but uh, I'll be using this worm pattern. It's actually uh, pretty similar to a cinder worm fly pattern, but uh, I made this for uh, freshwater specifically, decorating the color. And then it's got some nice action in the water. Too. Okay, we're gonna see. Okay, here's my uh, final thoughts about this rod. This is a really nice rod, especially for $70 uh, and uh, if you're into a uh, grass rod. And pairing with uh, the Scientific Angler System 1 uh, 4, 5, 6 uh, size reel, I think uh, this rod balances really well. But for someone who uh, just started fly fishing, uh, I would probably gonna recommend the Eagle Claw 3 4 weight, which is a true 5 weight rod. Uh, since that one is a little bit easier to cast. This one is pretty easy to cast but uh, it does need a little bit learning curve to it because uh, it's a very slow action rod. Uh, I should say uh, more like a parabolical and uh, the Eagle Claw definitely has a little bit more backbone. So thanks for watching. I hope uh, this video helps. Please uh, consider share and subscribe timelines.